Hi, I'm Justin Marple from Team Bloodsport. Uh, we've got our first chassis test here. Hi there, this is Seth Schaefer from Team Just Cause Robotics, and today's video will be a quick overview of the drive system and drive electronics for the new version of Bloodsport. Over the last couple weeks, Justin has been assembling all of the electronics on his own, and I just met up with him today to film. One of the benefits to this chassis design is it's very low to the ground. So tell us about what batteries and motor controllers and motors we're using here for the drive system. Sure. Okay, so we have two brushed rages on each side controlling uh, two motors. Um, they're kind of buried under, under underneath here. And each each of these brushed rages has their has its own battery. So we have a 6S, uh, like 24 volts battery that powers one on each side. It's basically if one electric system gets killed, um, it's still run. So if I plugged in so if I plug in this guy, the full bot will still run. And if I plug in this guy, same deal. Full bot still runs. So those are completely redundant battery systems? Completely redundant. Um, if something shorts on one side, we can still run. Uh, awesome. Run full power. And you're using brushed rages for the motors, correct? Drive motors? Are we using mag motors? For, for the, the rage bridge yep. speed controllers, though? Yes, yeah, so the speed ESPs are using uh, so for the ESCs, we're using uh, brush breakers, brush breakers, and those go both to full two mag motors. Okay, cool. And these are the short mags, right? Yep, short mags are attached to a PED uh, gearbox, which then geared to a um, custom uh, wheel sprocket configuration. That we right, you posted a photo already of the, the wheel castings before, yep. that was pretty cool. Alright, awesome. Uh, One of the cool features about uh, Bloodsport 2 is that we have this custom RX board meaning we actually can have two different radio controllers for the drive that we can switch over to if we need to. Say one RX die, we can switch over to the second RX. So we actually have all these LEDs here that signify what's on. Uh, you can see these LEDs, they um, signify what's on, on and off. So this, these two internal signals, this one RX is currently on. You can see the ESC is both powered. Um, so if you look on the other side here, you can actually see the external signal from the other side is currently on. Oh yeah, don't don't hit anything, it kinda hurts. Or will hurt. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it and also definitely add a comment if you'd like to say anything or ask any questions about the robot. I'm sure myself or Justin would be happy to answer. Subscribe for more of this in the future and stay tuned.